welcome back to my channel. This is another session with EFSA, the European Federation of Sea Anglers. Today, I'm talking to Thomas Reinhardt, who is one of the organizers from EFSA Germany, running the next EFSA European Species Championships in Langeland in Denmark. Yeah, hi, Thomas. How are you? Hello. Hi, Margot. I'm fine. Thank you, Margot. Okay, so where exactly in Denmark uh, is the species championships uh, later this year and how will anglers get there? Yeah, so we start in October, it's our high season for flatfish and uh, the championship starts at uh, October the 6th until uh, 11th in 2024, uh, this year in autumn. And uh, you can come to the island uh, by two ways. The one way is by car over some bridges. You can drive directly European main road number 20, and then you take a local road number nine directly to Langeland. And the other uh, chance is to go uh, uh, to Copenhagen by plane, and then you can go by train or by bus and arrive here, or you can rent a car in Copenhagen it's about two, two and a half hours driving time over the big bridge, uh, best bridge to us. So it's very easy to come to our location. Excellent. Yeah. So as a species championship, so what species are we after and how would you best catch them? Uh, we have a lot of flatfish uh, and it's a very famous spot in our area. And the main fish we get is place, uh, ducks and flounders. And sometimes, uh, if you are lucky, we get some big tour boats. The biggest one we catch here is about seven, eight kilos, but the normal size is about 40, 45, 50 centimeters. This, this is a normal average size for the tour boat. But it's not, not very easy to catch them, but it's, we have the chance, of course. Yeah? And uh, to catch them is very easy. We take a normal leader with, uh, for example, the weight at the end of the leader or in the middle. We hook all, we uh, fish always with two hooks, and uh, you get uh, for the competition some ragworms, and for the tour boats and uh, uh, some other uh, flatfish, it's always possible to catch with some fish. We have sometimes herring, or we have also the sand eels. So we don't know what kind of fish we get for the competition, but it will be a kind of uh, fish and ragworms, of course. Okay, great, yeah. Looking forward to that. Um, so what is the program and how many days are we fishing? Also normally uh, we, we think we can fish three days. It's the competition is two days. It's at the uh, 8th and the 9th of October. And we have uh, this day on Monday. And uh, the most people arrive at Saturday normally, because if you uh, rent a house in uh, Denmark, it's only from normally from uh, Saturday to Saturday. And then you have also on Sunday a chance to go out with the boat. But, but this you have to rent directly at the boat's owner EB. You find the address and everything uh, in the brochure from the EFSA. Or, or you can phone me, it's no problem from Angersdorf and Langeland. So I can help you to get a boat for Sunday uh, or Saturday. Or after the competition, you can get all the boats. But there you have to look for your own to, to, to rent. Included okay. is for the Texas Day, the boat. Um, and uh, the people who come together for the Texas Day, they have to look for the gas and everything. And the gas is included uh, for the competition days. Then you get full tanks and uh, spare tanks and everything. And you can give it back empty and the next day uh, you get a full tank with you again, so that's very easy. How that works is that people drive with an empty tank to a petrol station, fill it up, and then carry it to the boat. Is that this is a normal uh, for the practice day? We can find and find another solution, but uh, it's only for the practice day. The other uh, is no problem. Uh, it's included, and Nikolai from EV looks for the competition days that you have to get only for the practice day. You have to fill the tank up and. Uh, Pass the money between the different parts, of yeah. course. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So, what what sort of boats are we fishing from? Also we we take only the big boats between six and eight persons on, if possible, and we take maximum four persons. 
on the boat. So we have two at the left and two at the right side. So it's very easy also to clip the fish and everything. So I think this is the best way to do it with big boats. And we have not a very rough sea in our area. And uh, it's normally not so far away. We go out about 10, 15 minutes. We can start fishing. Uh, max half an hour we go out. And then we go by drifting uh, over the spot. Also it's very close to the marina. And so it's no problem, although if you are not so perfect in driving boats, so it's possible yeah. for everybody, yeah. And and I guess I guess we will have like a lead boat, and as long as you're near them, they, you should be all right. Yes, I think we, we stay all together in one part, not close together, but in one area. And if we decide, oh, not so good fishing at this spot, then we leave all together to another spot, yeah. We, we, we don't stay very close together, but we stay we stay together in one area, of course, yeah. Okay, sounds, sounds perfect, yeah. What's the scoring system? Also, the scoring system is normally to get uh, all, for all flatfish, one point. It's very easy. And if you have a special size, I think about over 45 centimeters, you get three points. That's all, yeah. Yeah. And uh, if you want to take some fish with you for food or something, it's possible, of course, then we can mark it on board or something. Yeah? So you have your dinner. Yeah, t typically that's you just cut the tail possible. fin off and then you know that's, that's to be kept. Of course, yeah. of course. Uh, but otherwise, if you stay only two together at one boat, yeah, so yeah. it's very easy to clip. <laughs> you don't have to ask uh, uh, yeah. another people. You, it, it's a small team, yeah. Uh, together, two at the left, two at the right. So I don't think there's any problems that you measure the fish two times or something like this. This is normally possible if you stay with one person the whole day together. That's okay, possible. excellent. Um, so what sort of depths will we be fishing in? How deep will the water be? Uh, we fish about between 3 and 15 meters. The average is about 7 meters. 7, 8 meters, it's the normal deep we start. And then we look for different kinds of fish. Uh, the flounders are normally about five, six, seven, eight meters, and uh, the depths are a little bit deep at 10, 15 meters. So, okay, yeah, so not, say not about, uh, three, three to 15 meters around. Yeah. yeah, so not too deep, then that's good. No, 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 not too deep. The weight is about 16 to the max 100 grams. It depends on the current. The current can change. Uh, during the day from uh, no current to strong current, and then sometimes you need 100 grams, 120 grams, but not more. Uh, okay. Mostly 16, 18 grams. That's, that's Perfect. It. So what, uh, what awards will the winners get? As the awards, I must look, it's here the winner. <laughs> we uh, will award for the extra spacious pins for the first three anglers, and further awards uh, will be open teams of four pair, pairs, uh, section teams and randomly draw two executive teams and uh, the uh, catch of the most fish get an extra and of course we have uh, some uh, special uh, prizes and uh, from our shop and so although I think uh, everybody gets something I, I, I'm sure <laughs> we okay. find it out yeah. <laughs> okay perfect so so where do people stay in Langeland? Uh, normally, uh, Langeland, you can stay in uh, uh, holiday cottages. Uh, the price is between four, five, six hundred euros for a whole week. And uh, in these cottages, you can sleep and eat, and everything is prepared for uh, vacations. And uh, you can rent uh, it uh, also uh, with Evie. Evie has uh, a lot of houses here in Scottsback directly but also a lot of uh, other big companies you can rent it. It's also possible in our headquarter, of course, it's in Scooterhound. It's at the other side of the island, about 20, 10, 15 kilometers away from uh, Spotsberg. And there uh, is a capital town from the island. And there you can also get some bed and breakfast or something like this, or some rooms in the hotel. and. Also, uh, the celebration evening is uh, in Scooterhound. Yeah? It's the headquarter, and yeah. they can also get some uh, small houses or some rooms, what, whatever you like.
okay, excellent. Yeah, pr plenty of variety. Um, so how many anglers do you expect to come? Also, we hope about uh, 40 to 60. I hope so. Uh, but normally, if we get about 30 together, I think then we can start the competition. Then we have about uh, seven to eight boats, I think, then we can start. And perhaps 50, 60, we hope so, yeah? yeah so yeah. I don't know exactly uh, how many uh, comes, but... Yeah, it's based, based on past experience, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so uh, the question I ask everybody is easier for you to use to answer, right? So, where's the best place to buy fishing tackle from? Uh, Hello, of course, uh, we, we have uh, the fishing shop, uh, one fishing tackle shop in Spotsberg. Uh, there we get also our bait and everything. And uh, there you can find me. And if you have some questions about the island or something else, with, uh, if you don't find a room or a house, or we can help you with boats and other private things, uh, ask me, no problem, we stay in our shop every time and stay for you and help you, all the things. And we also, of course, also a little bit fishing stuff in our shop if you need something special, so we can help you, I, I, I'm sure. Okay, great, great stuff. Uh, will the restaurants be open at that time of the year? Now? Yeah, we have main season, like you tell. Uh, it goes uh, till December. We have a lot of people here, and nearly all the hotels and restaurants are open. Uh, so I think uh, you can find some grills here in the area. And if you go to the main town, we have nearly 10 restaurants. And uh, over the island, the island is about 50 kilometers long and about 10 kilometers in right. Uh, then we have about 60, 80 restaurants where you can find something, I think. It's very easy. Okay, great. So I, I hope that people are, people are keen uh, listening now uh, to this. So when, when does registration close? Also, we, we say at the 1st May, uh, we, we close it, and then we look how, how many people is coming. Uh, it, it's about three weeks from now uh, we can... Okay. Uh, so, and other than that, anything else that anglers need to think of when they travel to Langeland? Also normally, although we don't have special rules, of course, <laughs> you have to drive at the right side, yeah, for the English <laughs> people. <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> that's the only thing, but normally it's no, no problem. It's a very quiet island and a very safe area in our... Okay, so once... One... No, thanks, yeah. Um, yeah, when people arrive in Langeland, if they've got any questions, worries, whatever, who do they contact? Yeah, you can contact me, yeah, and all the other problems you have, I hope don't sit here to need some health problems. If you have some, uh, if you look in the brochure we, we sent for, for the competition, there are all the, the telephone numbers and so on. But I think the best is uh, first ask me and then I can help you by the short way. And uh, I don't think you, you need me, otherwise I can give you some practice uh, tips and everything, of course. You are welcome. Okay, ah, sounds great. So I'm certainly looking forward to that. Yeah, Thomas, thank you very much for that interview. And I wish you a successful championship uh, uh, later in October. Uh, thank you also, Mark. Happy see us in, in autumn.